Hello everyone and welcome to another session of BMC's YouTube live stream. My name is Tom Nurse and I'm your moderator. Our guest today is Trish Nolan who is a principal software consultant at BMC Software. How are you doing today Trish? I'm doing fantastic Tom. Thank you for asking. All right, great. Well today Trish is going to lead the discussion on using the mask function to quickly and easily create filters in the main view explorer. Now note that at the bottom of your screen is a chat window. Ask your questions at any time and we'll go over them near the end of the session. All right, with that, take it away, Trish. Thank you, Tom. As Tom mentioned, we often get questions from customers on how to quickly filter the data that they're seeing displayed on the various views within their main view product. So Easily, you go up to your main view explorer action toolbar here, where my cursor is, and you'll see all the toolbars. I'm going to click on the one that looks like a mask. When I click on that once, an empty box is opened immediately underneath each column heading. In today's example, I would like to only display the jobs that begin with the letters MV, as in main view, on this JCPU real-time view in main view for ZOS. So I'm going to go to that empty box in the job name column, and I'm going to type the letters MV and press the Enter key. And immediately, every other job that does not begin with those letters is filtered out. I can also create some more complex filters on this particular data. If I wanted to filter it a bit further to just those jobs that begin with MV and run on the BMCA LPAR, I could type the letters BMCA in my SSI system column, and when I press the Enter key, I will now have the jobs filtered down to just those jobs that begin with the letters MV and are running on BMCA. Now, you may want to save this view as a custom view so that you can very easily bring it up quickly at a future date and not have to make these changes or set these filters. And the way that you do that is you click on your Save button, the one that looks like a floppy disk in your Action Toolbar. When I click on this, I get a pop-up box that asks me what name I want to save the view under, and I'm just going to call this test one and my custom view for the description and this view is going to be saved in my personal BDV desktop when I click on this save button. So now I can close the J, the JCPU one or test one view. I go over to my lower product navigation tree and I can see that my test one view has been added there. Double click on that and I will bring up the view with all my filtering in effect. And that about wraps it up, Tom. Are there any questions from the chat window? Well, let's see. We've got one here from Joel BZ1985 who asks, if a user refreshes the view, does the mask filter remain in effect? Yes, it does. Um, for example, if I click the refresh button here, of course, the view that I have saved, it will remain in effect. However, I can close my custom view, and I will go to my JCPU original view under real-time data and jobs. And when I bring that up again and put a quick filter on it and refresh it, you'll see how the filter remains in effect. Okay. Okay, well, great. so That's now we go to my mask column. I'm going to type in MV again. This is the original view without any permanent changes. Put my mask in. I type, hit the Enter key. And now it is filtered down to just those jobs that begin with MV. When I hit the Refresh key, my filter remains in effect until the point at which I remove those letters from my mask box. And then when I hit enter again, all of the jobs are displayed once again. Any, any other questions? 
great explanation, and that looks like that's it for questions. So that will conclude this session, and I want to thank Trish for lending her expertise on our topic of the day, and to let our participants know that your feedback is valuable to us, so please send us your comments. And if you want to be notified of upcoming events, simply subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. All right, we'll see you in the near future with more YouTube live stream sessions featuring BMC's mainframe products. Thank you for joining us, and bye-bye for now.